What is good guys, so we have Axel 10 versus Nintendi, Axel is playing for the Sharks and Nintendi for the Tigers, the Tigers are up 4-0 at the moment. Uh, Nintendi's team looks pretty similar to the team that Jambit made, it's just Weavile over Garchomp. Um, so I'm thinking if the... I'm thinking if the lander would be Scarf, because he kinda needs some speed control, right? Um... On Axel's side, I would guess that it's uh, obviously a Rocks Chomp and Common Clefable. Common Clefable is like <laughs> top one one in Auras. But we will, yeah, we will can definitely do a lot of work this game, um, especially if it's like banded. You can like knock off Kelio, and if Ke if Kelio gets knocked off, like Stami walls it even easier if it specs Kelio. Um, so Nintendo gets the lead correct with Volcarona. Uh, Volcarona also completely murders Axel's team after prior chip damage on um, Garchomp and Kelio. So I think Nintendo can just go for Fire Blast here. As Axel is gonna have to go to his check, which is uh, either the Kelio or the Garchomp, I would guess. That's not looking too good for Axel, actually. Uh, Metagross obviously doesn't want to stay in here. He, he let the Metagross break in the DNC, which is quite obvious, but Nintendo said, nah, we're not leading the DNC today. Um, like, Axel doesn't have a Pursuit Trap or anything to punish the Starmie, so this is looking. Um, Kalio is like in check by Starmie. Ladi is in check by Weewild DNC Ferrothorn. Uh, Clefable is broken and can actually win, but other than that, I don't. I think the Volcarona is like a really big threat for Axel for sure. Like the Fable can obviously pull it off if it's like T-Wave Calm Mind. That's how it's busted. Um, it like beats everything or else it doesn't matter what you do. It beats like Heat when we won if you T-Wave it on the Switch. So you just go Garchomp, take the Fire Blast. I think that tells us that it's offensive. Garchomp, not 100% sure on that though. So I assume Nintendo is gonna go to his uh, Lando or Ferrothorn here. He obviously doesn't want to take a potential Stone Edge or yeah, like Outrage or Earthquake. Uh, if Axel has Rocks, he could go for that as well. Mm. Yeah, like sometimes you see a Clef with like Rocks T Wave or like Rocks Knockoff, but I think this is Calm and Clef for sure. He does double into Clefable and the Tenny just stays in and the game is over. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm s I actually don't know if I like Nintendo's play of staying in because. It, it was an aggressive play and it worked out. Like, he, um. He went all in aggressive early in the game. <laughs> He's like, turn two, let me go for a game. Uh, he predicted Garchomp to either go for rocks or something like that. Uh, Axel doubled into Clefable, anticipating a. a land or Ferrothon switch, I would guess. I don't know. Now, if this Clefable has T Wave, it can, um. And if it's Spadef Clefable, it can still have a Fire Blast and T-Wave the Volcarona. So it's not like the game is completely over now if the Clef is T-Wave Spadef, which is... I think in Auras usually Clefable runs uh, Calm Nature, so more Spadef. And so I would guess this Fire Blast should do like 80 or 90%. Um, yeah, exactly. Like, that's not trip too much. If the Clef has T-Wave, this is not over for Axel yet. For a second I thought it's completely over, <laughs> but it's not. Um, also, in a Calm Mind War, I don't think Clefable would win. Maybe maybe if the Volk runs, if the Volk only has Fire Blast to hit the Clef and the other move is like Giga Drain. <laughs> like, I would guess that this Volk is like, um, it doesn't have to be HP ground, but it could be. Like, he just Fire Blast again as Axel goes into Kelio, so this is probably... Scarf Kelio, like, I don't, I'm so fucking confused, I don't know what's going on. So he does not have T-Wave, he does not have T-Wave on his Clefable, that's why he switched. Um, oh, he didn't want to let his Clefable take a huge hit because it can win later in the game if it's kept healthy. But now he's pretty much, I don't think, Clef Kelio doesn't usually run Stone Edge and Auras on Scarf, it's usually like a Sun and Moon thing. If he only has Hydro Pump, and then he can just Quiver Dance again and the game ends right here. He Giga Drains hard. And I think he should have Quiver Danced again, because then he's at plus 2 and guaranteed outspeeds even a Scarf Kelio. And he has um, more attack and stuff like that. Yeah. 
exactly. I don't know why I didn't cover again, got agreement, sorry in the S2 chat there. Unless I'm missing something here. <laughs> and now Axel pretty much has to hope. I don't think, I don't know if his Garchomp ha ha even has a move to hit the Volcarona. If his Garchomp doesn't have a move to hit the Volcarona, I think the game is pretty much over at this point. <laughs> also, we have been waiting for this game for super long. Um, the game was scheduled for like 90 minutes ago and I was out actually, so I'm happy that... Um, the game started later. So he's going Zapdos, which means he's either gonna go for Discharge Para or for Crit. I assume he's gonna go for Discharge Para. Um, if he's Spidef Zapdos, he can um, obviously take a plus one Fire Blast. If he's Fidif, might be a roll. It will obviously do a lot. I don't know the Kalk. I'm just like head Kalking. <laughs> but yeah, Nintendo is. I think Nintendo can. If he Quivadence again on the Kelly, he just won. I don't know why he didn't do that. And now. Because now if he Quivadenses again and gets paralyzed, that could be bad for him. So he just Fire Blast, Zapdos can take it because it's Spadef that does nothing. And now if he gets the para, this game could be ugly and he doesn't get the para. So Nintendo just wins now, which is crazy. <laughs> he obviously still has to connect the Fire Blast here. He doesn't want to Quivalence again because then he gives Axel another chance to get a Discharge para. So he just Fire Blast, he connects. Uh, Zapdos did have press pressure question mark? If it did have pressure, then Volcarona only has... It did have pressure, but Volcarona has two Fire Blasts left. So now it comes down to if the Volcarona has Buck Bus. If it doesn't have Buck Bus, the Lottie can take a hit and revenge the Volk. Um, otherwise the game is over. He has, has Buck Bus, so the game just ends. So this was a beatdown. I think the Tigers are now up 5-0. The Tigers are now up 5 and 0 versus the, the Sharks. Um, this is not looking too good. My man BTB is on the Sharks, so I feel really bad that they're up like in the bag that much. But I guess we will look at the score after the game. There's, yeah, obviously this doesn't lift. The game is just over. He just has to connect the Fire Blast on the Clefable. So, like Volcarona was a huge problem for Axel's team, like from Team Preview, but... Obviously, he, he expected um he expected Nintendo to switch out at he, he expected Nintendo to switch out like turn two right. Um, the thing is like like I have not eaten anything today and I kind of I woke up a few hours ago like I'm kind of dead as fuck. So like I I think this wasn't my best narration, but like um let me just let me just rewatch this real quick. So he uh, switches into Garchomp. So like pretty much now Axel thinks that Nintendo fears a Stone Edge, I would guess, or like Scarf Outrage. If he doesn't have T-Wave on Clef, I don't get that play because I think early in the game you should like kind of play safe and like try to cover the opponent. Um, huh. I mean, I think Nintendo just went off what Axel usually uses and. He probably doesn't usually run uh, Stone Edge on his guard jump. Or he maybe this is a team that was known. Hmm. I mean, what I think, what I think, or what I was thought even at Team Preview, I already said that. I thought it was Rock's Clefable, right? Um, no, no, Rock's guard jump, Rock's guard jump, and Coleman Clefable, but potentially T Wave or Knockoff or something like that. So, like, with that in mind, if Nintendo thought the same, that means if Clefable doesn't have T Wave, uh, if Garchomp doesn't have Stone Edge. Because it's probably a rocker with like uh, Earthquake Outrage Dragon Claw if it's Scarf or if it's Tank Chomp. Nah, if it's Tank Chomp, it could have Dragon Tailed it. I don't think it was Tank Chomp, yeah. But yeah, we will look at the score real quick. And we do see that the Tigers are now up 5 and 0 versus the Sharks. Where's the game? Where's the game? And yeah, this was a highly expected match, but. It was a highly expected match, but that just went down like re that was super weird. <laughs> like what? Like there was no. It just shows like never forget about Volcarona. Um, it's not used much in Sun and Moon Oyo at the moment, but it's kind of slept on as well with all the new defoggers and especially with Z moves. Obviously in Aorus we don't have Z moves, but like, is Clef didn't have T Wave? His uh. Caldeo as plus one obviously couldn't hit the Volcarona, so he had to rely that Ladi could take a hit, uh, meaning Vol if Volk didn't have Bug Bus, it could have done that. And he all he had to rely on a Discharge Para, because I guess Guard Chomp was not Tank Chomp, because if it was Tank Chomp, he could have gone uh, for either Dragon Tail, Toxic, or something like that, at least prevented the early sweep. But I think in the long run, he would have gotten swept by this anyway, 
Nintendo just would have had to, um, like in my opinion, if I was Nintendo, I would have uh, obviously scouted for the guard jump having Stone Edge at turn two and being Scarf, even though that's probably not common at all in Auras. But like, yeah, I would have like get this got this Volcarona in on like uh, Metagross or like on Kelly locked in the Secret Sword or something like that. Even though um, Axel probably would play the way that he would never lock in. But like, I would you guys get what I'm trying to say? I would have set tried to set this up so he gets his Volcarona in on a free setup opportunity. But why did he set up on a guard jump that could have either Toxic, Dragon Tail, or Stone Edge? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, that wasn't my, I know this wasn't my best narration. Like, I'm really half, I'm like half asleep. But I'm trying to give you guys all the coverage. There's a lot of games today. Uh, stay tuned for that and peace out.